software development or the application development is all about the writing functions and calling functions. In Power App, we majorly focus on the functions calling. But what about the functions writing? Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power. In this video, we will be focusing on how we can actually write our own function in the Power App and how we can actually leverage that function in other Power Apps. Okay. So without wasting any time, I'm just navigating to my screen. So here is the dashboard of this Canvas editor, Power Platform, I would say. So I have two applications. One is the master app, the other one is the test app. So I already opened these two applications in the edit mode. This one is my master app and this one is my test app. Okay. So my focus is to write the custom function. Because whenever we are working on the Canvas application, it is very easy to call the functions. And we are building all applications in the Canvas app by just simply by calling the functions. But what about the functions in writing? If there is any requirement where we would like to create our own functions. So at a time, we need to go with the custom functions, right? So how we can actually do that? Let's take a see. So here is the Canvas editor. I'm just going to the component, OK? Before going to the component, you just need to check to your settings. Okay, since our case is like where we would be creating one function, we would be writing the definition of the function in one app and utilizing that function in another app. Okay, so that's why we go with the settings. And here the settings will go with the upcoming features. In the upcoming features, search for the features that associated with the components. Okay, so. Here you have one feature that is the component enable component which are group for the control that can be reused across the screens and app. It means if you have created one component in one app, that should be also available to use in another application. Okay, because we are writing the function in terms of the component. Okay. So we'll simply make this enable. I have already made this enabled now. Yes, and except that there is one more needs to be enabled. Uh, you need to just check where it will it would be I guess in the experimental sections here in this the custom properties fire custom events with the behavior proper and create a user defined function this is actually the thing from where we can actually write our custom functions okay so you need to just enable this as well and now we'll just come back so in my case, I'm just taking a very basic example, basic function where user would be simply writing, passing three arguments and he's just getting the addition of the three arguments. Okay. So I'm just give, going to the component and I'm just creating new component. Let's give it, give it a name as accidentally comes to, okay. Give it a name as a, a custom function. Custom function let's take a function okay nice i'm just i'm not interested with the size of this thing so i'm just making it 30 and it to be 30 as well and now i'll go with the custom properties okay because these are the places where we can actually define the things okay so as i'm saying this here i'm just writing the function so i need to just give it a name let's take an example of my function name would be some multiple some three let's take an example of three okay this is my function name please ignore the what the syntax i'm just using okay and make it as output type okay output type and the data type would be numeric because we are playing with the numbers once you're done with that simply create this okay now you need to just go to the your sum and the out, expand this output properties and see whether it okay so you can see there is nothing no option is coming here so you need to just go and check whether it was enabled or not okay so here is our enriched component maybe it will be there now let's take an example one more time okay so now guys you can see 
I have the parameters that I can pass to this output function, okay? This output parameter of this component. So I'm just adding, it's, this would be num1, okay? And it would be numeric and it would be required. Again, I'm adding one more. So I just scroll down and add one more. Let's take an example of num2 and that will also be numeric because I need to just save it and making it required and one more that would be num3 and that I would be numeric because we are we need to do the arithmetic operation and I'm just making it required you can also ignore this okay you can make it as uh, optional as well okay now I'm done with that I'll just simply save it and now I need to write the definition of my function I I already passed the parameters but what are the argument that would be passed now it's the time to write the definition so I'll go with the some three and here is the formula bar okay so I just click there and write the function so my function is num1 here is in the formula you will simply write the definition what the value you are expecting it to return you okay so i'm just passing num1 plus m2 plus m3 okay now i am done with that okay so after that i come to my screen and i'll simply add the component at the way how we actually add the other components okay go with the insert and Go with the custom and here i can see the custom function is there you can add the this component here and now let's take an example of uh, let's take three input okay mm -mm. is there any numeric rating rating okay do. fine i'll just uh, proceed with the let's take an example of this one numeric this would be my value one okay so remove these things and i'm just making it its color to be different so that it would be visible okay and now it is good and control c and control v for another one and control C and control V for the last one and I'm just adding a small button and that button would be simply showing the sum so I'll write not sum but to let's take an example of the click of Okay, and it would be some to total total. Let's take in total. Okay. Okay, and now on the click of this button, I'm just passing one value that would be set. I'm just calling that function set function. Okay, and variable would be let's say tot. Okay, and it would be here. I'm just I, I just need to call the my custom function okay so i need to just use my component first okay so my custom name is the custom ftn1 okay this is my component and in that component i have my function so i write dot here is the sum3 this was the function name this was the property remember so i use this one and now if i simply select this i can show how it is actually there okay now i'll simply need to pass the arguments okay so argument would be like this one and so once i start my braces it is just showing me that you need to pass num1 value num2 value num3 value okay so i'll pass value Okay, and it would be next input next input one 
dot text and I'm just copying it comma I need to pass the num num value that would be underscore one and the last one that would be underscore two not the underscore okay and here I'll simply the more bracket yes now it is good okay now what I need to do is I need to just pass it here and root as this was my variable name okay okay now let's check how it is working if I'm passing let's say five three one let's take an example it is saying giving me nine so that's how you can actually see we have written our own custom function and we are, we are actually utilizing it in our application okay now the case is if you have created your function and you need that function to be used in another application okay then how you will do that so you need to just save this application and publish this okay because the way we have written this custom function is actually a component okay then you need to just do the same stuff that you pass whenever you need to use the one component that is present in another application in another applications okay so just go over there and now i'll open the another application that is my test app and i can see i have no component here now i need my that my component where i have written my custom function in this application okay so i'll go with here and there is an option to import component okay i simply click on this import function and i'll simply refresh this to get the updated version of this application the master app master app by this app okay here you will see this master app i simply click this and import once i click on this import i can see that my custom function component is introduced in this application okay in this test app now i can do the same thing that i have done on the master app okay this app is different this is my test app okay i'm just copy paste all these th stuffs from here these five things we'll see okay and now come to the screen and paste it it will be okay i guess it hasn't saved control c and control v why it is not coming okay so here it is coming okay now i can see okay double triple is coming this split first okay now i can see it is giving some errors because my screen one don't have any component okay so i need to add my component here as well first so i'll go with the custom and the custom function is there now simply add this okay it's at my corner and now i'll see how why it is not working i need to just go with the here and see try to see what, what is actually the error let's take an example of this set bc comma and then my custom function is custom okay my function actually my component is in the not coming you need to just close the application first and then you need to reopen it and then you can add actually okay 